back, Transformer TCG fans. Okay, this is going to be real quick. Uh, you remember my metric cards? I originally had about a dozen, maybe 15. Well, I added one more. It's pretty much the exact same look as the Bestial Metric of Growth, which I believe was on Cheap Doors box um, in, in the store. Well, I do have Cheap Doors. He's down there somewhere. Um, I've added a new one. And it's the one that was on Tigatron's box. And it's really basically the same thing with a different, with a brown background. And so the this this symbol, which they really didn't do much with, uh, for, you know, the Kingdom toy line. Um, it's, that's basically the same symbol. But uh, because it, it's a different color, I'm reusing it. I didn't realize I had this, this symbol already. But we're going to, I called it, panther metric of dot 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 um and it's a blank pip utility card that gives plus two health okay um and it's almost tempting to go back and adjust some of these metric cards to 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 utilize a counter system you're going to notice this does deal with counters and i called it a metric counter so you just can't use my other stuff and go oh well i'm going to use this secret action and build counters on it uh or this and that and oh I, i'm going to swap out all your things and, and and get back on you with this can't do that this is a metric card with a metric counter um so you can't just uh put any counter on here that i helped bring to a universal ideal or idea with my counter system. Uh, the metric cards are a little different and I'm, I'm trying to keep them different. So uh, it is a nice blank utility card that gives plus two health at anybody that wears it on the utility side, which is nice. But it's uh, gonna be, is it stealthiness uh, or another one that gives any character that wears it, you know, stealth when tapped or untapped, which is nice. I um, can't remember if it was blank or not. Uh, might might have been white pip card, but this one is blank. It gives health. But let's look at this. While a trait on the equipped character allows you to swap a green pip card after battle, put a metric counter on this. Okay, you're like what it's easier than you think okay so just looking at these cards my metric set up here and this makes 16 the bestial metric of growth has the fist on there for melee so uh and it's an armor card if uh if you have the panther metric of on a melee character and you and you battled attack attack or defense and you flip them bestial metric of growth you can get that on the swap because it's a melee character then you are allowed to put uh as an example um then you're allowed to be put that a counter on this panther metric of card uh looking through here the i had another one on here or two actually uh, the metric of fierceness has a green pip where only sports car patrols can get on the flip. So if a sports car patrol, you're playing with them and you have the Panther metric of on one of them and you flip the metric of fierceness, which is basically bold two and attack a two, um, which is nice. Anybody really can wear it, but only sports car patrols can get it on the flip. Uh, if, if one of those sports car patrols has the uh, Panther metric of equipped, you can also then put a counter on it. Once you have at least two counters on the Panther metric of, uh, when this has at least two metric counters, the equipped character has stealth when tapped or untapped. Um, so, which might be easier said than done. Of course, you know, if you attack with said character, it, you know, maybe you're too wide and have a 12 star and a 13 star character together or something along those lines. This is not, there's no star on here. Um, and one of them is melee and you have that other card or something to where 
uh, you can uh, swap a green card only because it has one of the uh, the trait on the green to be able to get it on the swap. Uh, like the triplicated weapon metric that I've kind of updated its verbiage here also, which actually has the Omnibot symbol in the green pip. Okay, and I have tons more uh, cards in here as well that have traits on the green. Other people have traits in the green that forces you to only be able to get that on the swap when the character with that trait has battled, attacked, or defended. Then you can swap it as long as it matches that trait. Okay, uh, let, let, let me read this one I'm looking at. Green plus Omnibot is a green, except it has no battle effect when flipped for a non-Omnibot character. Easy enough. That, that's what they did with Wave 5. That's what a lot of us, uh, the Energon, Arc, Bayformers, ATP, we, we've continued this line of being able to get things on the swap, but they have to have this trait. They have to be a specialist. They have to be melee. They have to be a Decepticon. They have to be an Autobot. Uh, you know, they have to have this, this trait on, on them to be able to get that on the swap. So, you know, you attack with a character that says, I, I don't know, that, that, does, that is an Omnibot. Let's say it's an Omnibot. Uh, you actually want to play with them. Um, and, you know, that's only three wide, and we do have a, uh, some stratagems, homemade stratagems out there to help these guys a little bit. And I do have them. They were, uh, I think that was the only reason I, I, I paid to get on Hasbro Pulse for a whole year. Uh, was to be able to buy those cards, and I could have probably gotten them on eBay cheaper. But I, I remember doing that just in case I, I found something at Hasbro Pulse to get for my cousin for Christmas, which I never did. But uh, and I thought it was a one-time fee; it was a yearly fee. So I, you know, I, I'll get their emails on occasion, but uh, you know, apparently it's. It's not, you know, you pay for it and you, and you have that a membership. No, you got to pay every year, just like uh, some piece of program for your laptop that, you know, those days are long gone. You know, pay for something and you have it. That's gone. Um, I always want to update in the background instead of, you know, well, let's send out another program, make them buy that. Let's make them buy this again. And, be, and so now they just update and you just pay an annual fee. Uh, was that me? Uh, so there's that. So that that is the uh, Panther metric of card, and so it's it's a it's not unlike a medic, which a medic will repair to. This is a, a, a blank pip card that can give to uh, give to health when it's equipped, and so it's a utility, um, and that's all it really does, unless you're able to s swap. Well, you get the gist. <laughs> We've gone through, I've beaten the examples into the ground. So once you can at least get two metric, uh, metric counters on this upgrade, it's got stealth when tapped or untapped. So I'm having to make you work for it. Um, but it's a nice rare upgrade to help give you a little bit of health uh, and work for to get that stealth. Uh, because most of the time, Stealth only happens when the character is untapped. In the meantime, I have, oh my goodness, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight more characters coming your way right out of the store and onto a card. And they're looking pretty good. Uh, it's gone pretty quickly. I haven't gotten stats or abilities in here yet. Uh, you're going to recognize them. And we'll see you next time. As I, Thanks for watching throw some scraplets at that like button if you like this content want to see see me continue doing this and i guess i'm going to just keep continuing doing this whether you like it or not but uh and as always have not a great day but a blessed day and as always autobots let's roll out